What's up YouTube? Just gonna do a quick video breakdown here on my uh, Traxxas TRX4 Sport. Um, I've got quite a few upgrades in this and I have a couple of these trucks and this one's just kind of like my kind of go-to. I know it's reliable and smooth and um, the other ones are kind of more test and tune. Um, this one is pretty much staying the same. I'm waiting on one more modification. Uh, I have another body for it, but I got the 12.8 inch wheelbase extension kit, which is what comes on the Defender and the Tactical. Uh, this is at a 12.3 inch, so I'm gonna kind of extend it a little bit, about a half an inch. So I'm waiting on that to get the body fitted. I don't wanna poke any holes and have to poke more holes. So uh, the only thing I've added to the body is it does have a light bar and I plugged that into my ESC. Um, but other than that, it has like the light buckets. I have a yeah racing front uh, bumper. Uh, it kind of looks like the stock Traxxas wheels and tires. They're actually beat locks. You can see the wheel nuts there. Um, and then the stock Traxxas tires, which are some of my favorite. And uh, I have the foams cut. Other than that, they're just stock tires. I didn't cut the tread on them or anything. Uh, but get underneath. And there's the inside of the truck. So I'm running the Titan. Uh, 21 turn stock motor um, it's kind of a good amount of wheel speed uh, hasn't really given me any problems yet to upgrade it um, so I'm still running that I did almost immediately switch out to the Hobbywing 1080 ESC don't mind this I'm waiting on um, or this is XT90 is what I run but the cover for it was kind of melted and I'm just waiting on some new XT90 connectors to get that fixed up but uh, I'm running the LCG battery tray just to help keep my weight down low and I do run like the smaller packs. Um, that's gonna be switching soon because part of the extended wheelbase kit has the fenders and it has the mount up here to run the battery up front. So that's gonna change here in the next few days. Um, I'm running the Traxxas, I believe it's the 2255. It's the uh, 400 ounce tor or uh, yeah, 400 ounce servo. I will say it does, I think, need a BEC with this ESC. I do have it set to 7.4 volts, but um, sometimes my wheels kind of twitch, which is uh, some of the problems I had on my other trucks when I didn't have a BEC with a big servo. So something to keep in mind, even if you run this, I would consider getting a BEC. I have a couple on order at my local hobby shop and just waiting on to come in. Um, but it's a very, very basic build. Uh, my bumpers, front and back. Uh, this one has a 3D printed rear bumper mount. Uh, stock shocks, I think, are some of the best you can get. Uh, I'm running a Spectrum receiver. Um, nothing crazy about it. Just I use a Spectrum DX5C, so I run a Spectrum receiver. Um, I got the stock uh, sliders here, but I do have spacers just to raise them up, give me a little bit more clearance. Uh, just something I got at Lowe's, little nylon spacers. Um, see starting the back here I have the yeah racing axle housings um, and then the RC four-wheel drive ARV housings and then this has let's see it's kind of hard to tell but it has the Samus brass portal covers and I did have these on the front but um, I got different ones from the front that were heavier um, but other than that it's pretty much stock in the back um, up front, I'm running the Yaw Racing Stinger, as you can see, it's alright, I mean I really honestly kind of like um, running no bumpers, a lot more clearance, I mean these things get hung up really no matter what you do. Um, and then up front, same deal, I have, these are like the Amazon portal covers but they weigh more than the Samus ones, so I switched these to the front. Um, but I'm also running the Yao Racing axle housing and the RC four wheel drive housing or diff, I'm sorry, diff cover. Um, I'm running the stock um, servo horn. Some people say to upgrade it. I do have upgraded ones, but like I've never, I mean, the one on it's metal. I haven't had an issue with it. But um, like I said, it's a very simple build. Um, I got these raised up. I got bead locks. Like I said, I love these tires. Um, nice and soft, they do really good off-road. Uh, the lower center battery tray, servo, 
So and then some good weight down low. So I have the you know the housings and the portal covers and stuff on all four corners. Um, really, probably only necessary on the front, but um, I actually bought it all as a pretty much as a set. So the um, housings and the diff covers I bought together, and I got a discount on them, so that was a nice deal. But this is I think is probably my favorite TRX. The Sport, um, I do have one that is the Defender, so it's already got the fenders and everything, but I don't run that body because it weighs too much, and uh, I don't, I deleted the lockable diff stuff. I do use the two-speed, but like I only run it in low, so this right here is pretty much, you know, you pay extra, I think, for the truck that has more stuff, and then you delete all that stuff, so um, this body right here, I don't really plan on running too, too much. This is, I mean, it's been used, but it's, Kind of more going to be like my shelf body. Um, I have a Jeep Comanche that's just doesn't have any of the add-ons. It's probably half the weight of this. That's going to be like my actual body for this. But I'm sure there's a lot of similar builds out here um, like this. I mean, it's like I said, just some added weight, ESC, servo. Um, but other than that, like I said, it's a great performing truck. I have had this on... Um, like on a climb and I've gotten it to 57 degrees of incline before it flipped over and I have one more that's heavily weighted that I've gotten to 61 but um, it's a pretty heavy truck that's the TRX4 Defender so I think uh, with the battery located up front and uh, the wheelbase extended I'm going to redo that test and see how far I can get it up so like I said just very simple um, a lot, of, a lot of similar builds out there I've seen, but um, this is a night and day truck compared to how I got it. I mean, it climbs really, really good. It competes with all the guys, you know, competition rigs, you know, and I can bring it out and have a blast with it. So if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, but like I said, that's my TRX Sport.